Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and on this channel, I love to talk about beauty content, especially fragrances. In today's video, you guys, I am doing the ultimate flex tag created by Sharita M here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in hearing the fragrances I have for this tag, then let's hop right into this video, shall we? Now, before we do, you guys, a couple of things. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you like my content, consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and sharing my content because sharing is caring. And also, you guys, I'm going to put my own little spin on this tag because I thought it would be fun to give it a little something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about each fragrance. And just so you understand how real the flex is on these fragrances, I'm going to compare them to a movie or a song. I know, right? It's going to be fun, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you don't know what flex is. Flexing is when you show off. You're so confident that you know you have it going on. You know you are that chick or that dude. There's no one above you except the Lord. Now, first fragrance, you guys, is BDK's Passe Soir. This is my favorite from the house, and I feel like they showed their entire butt when they made this fragrance. This is a fruity fragrance, but it's so sexy. It's musky. It's sweet. It has some white florals in it and a little spice. It just... This fragrance just commands attention, but not super loud. I always get compliments when I wear this fragrance. It's not the one that runs you out the room. It's the one that draws you in and makes you like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Example, take Will Smith, Bad Boys 2. He's getting off the elevator and he has on that purple suit and he flips up his jacket. Oh my goodness. He's walking and he got that swag. He is straight flexing. And Martin is looking like, are you a cop or a model? And he's like, what? I just like to look good. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's how it is with this fragrance. You supposed to be fruity. Are you fruity or what? Cause you got some musk in here and you got some white florals. What are you doing? And BDK is like, what? Don't hate the player, hate the game. I know I'm sexy, what? That's what this fragrance is doing. This is the ultimate flex from BDK. In my opinion, this is Passe Soir. When I think of fragrance houses flexing on a fragrance, I have to think about Parfums de Marly and this one right here, pow, Valaya. I know everyone loves the Delina sisters, but this one right here is a whole flex. This one with all of the notes that it has, the fruity notes, the ambroxin, the aldehydic notes, this one is a whole flex that will have your mouth hanging open, causing conversations in another room. How do I know this? I told you guys when I wore this to work, the nurses and doctors were back there behind closed doors in a whole different space talking about how good it smelled and wondering what that smell was. The lady came out the room. Oh, that's you smelling like that. What is this, girl? The flexing is real with this fragrance. Can I paint a picture for you? Have you ever seen The Devil Wears Prada, which is like my favorite comedy movie of all time? I don't know how many times I've seen that movie, but if you've seen it, when Andy finally gets what she has to do to make Miranda happy and she goes and uh, she gets herself transformed, she walks into the room. Before she walks into the office, Emily and that uh, French girl with the glasses, I can't remember her name, they're talking about her and she walks in the room and she flexes and she swings her hair and she sits her purse down and the phone rings. Miranda Priestley's office. No, she's not, but I'll leave word. She got their lingo down and everything and their mouths are like, they're speechless. Are those the new Chanel boots? Yeah, you, you look good. That's, that's Valaya. Just replace Andy with Valaya as she's walking into the room. She flips her hair 
and she's like, what? Andy knew she was flexing when she walked in that room. That's how it is when I wear Valaya. I flex because I know I smell good. Perfumes, Damali, you did your whole thing with this. Valaya, ultimate flex. So the next one, you guys, is from the House of Siage and it's probably not everyone else's ultimate flex from this house, but it is definitely mine. This is Hufflepuff. Now hear me out. I have Passion Delamore, and yes, that's a flex, but this one right here, this is a quiet flex. Sometimes when you flex, you don't have to do a lot to flex, but you're still showing off. This is a sweet, creamy, powdery fragrance that always commands attention. And to me, she doesn't know just how much of a flex she really is. A lot of people don't know. They know she's cute, but I always get compliments when I wear this fragrance. To me, the flex on this one is the flex from Pretty Woman. When Julia Roberts has on the red dress and she looks absolutely stunning, she walks out the elevator flexing, but not really. She knows she's cute, but she doesn't know how cute she is. And as she's walking, all the staff, they stop, they look, they're like, hey, check her out. She's so cute. The guests are looking at her and Edward tells her, you're really beautiful when you're not fidgeting and you're tall. That's the flex on this one. It's like, you know, you smell good and you you know you're gonna get a compliment, but you just don't know how much of a flex you really are. The flex on this one is real. I absolutely love, love, love this fragrance. House of Siage, you did your thing with Hufflepuff. This is my favorite ultimate flex from House of Siage. So the next ultimate flex fragrance, you guys, is Victor and Ross Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. Now, I know a lot of you guys love the OG, and I love it too, I have it in my collection. However, out of all of the Victor and Ralph fragrances that I've smelled and that I have, this one is the ultimate flex. I think this fragrance is underestimated because it's a tropical fragrance and it has fruity notes in here, mango, it's like tonic, it has a hint of greenness in here, but the way that the tiger lily and jasmine and freesia are done in here makes this fragrance really sexy and appealing. And to me, it's just a whole flex and a vibe. If you want a sexy tropical fragrance, you want something that's gonna turn heads, this would be it. Speaking of underestimated, this fragrance would be J-Lo and Enough. She started off as this sweet, obedient bride that was putting up with all this BS from her husband. But when she left him and she took those self-defense lessons, he wasn't ready. He underestimated her and she came and she kicked his butt and she killed him. This fragrance is killing it, it's kicking butts, it's turning heads. I have never worn this fragrance without someone telling me, you smell so good. This is an ultimate flex for sure. Love this fragrance. Victor and Ralph's Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. Okay, you guys, so the next fragrance, I try not to duplicate her fragrances that she had in the video because she has some good ones. But she was right to say this one was the ultimate flex and I had to put it in mind. This is homage guidance, you guys. When I think about this fragrance compared to the homage fragrances I've smelled and a lot of other fragrances I have in my collection, this is a flex in a category all by itself. This fragrance, you guys, in terms of movies, this one is... The Godfather, which is my favorite movie of all time. There is no better movie than The Godfather, in my opinion. This is the Michael Corleone of perfume. He started off really nice and innocent and sweet at the beginning of The Godfather. This starts off really nice and innocent. It's fresh, it has that sweet pear, it has the hazelnut giving it a gourmand touch. Oh, you're so nice. But then, Michael Corleone in the movie, he turns into a stone cold killer because they shot his father. This starts to transform 
as we see Michael Corleone in the movie. He transforms into the stone cold killer. He took out the heads of the five family. This is taking out the heads of the five families with all of those notes, the Olibanum, the Labdamum, the Aki Gala Wood. You have to be a boss to wear this fragrance. I can't be shy Liz like I was back in the day holding up the wall. Hi, how you doing? Uh-huh, no, I don't wanna dance, it's okay. I have to be ready to take charge. I have to own the room and work it. That's what this is doing right here. This is my scent of the day and this is a magnet for attention. It's a loud fragrance, but the way it comes off confidence and it's in charge and it knows what it's doing. This, this fragrance is a whole flex right here, which brings us to our affirmation of the day, which is I am a magnet for positive energy and good vibes. This is a magnet for positive energy. You either get it or you don't, but I feel like the attention it commands is giving positive energy and vibes in my opinion. I love this fragrance. This is definitely the ultimate flex. This is I'ma wash guidance. Okay, you guys, I saved this perfume for last because I feel like it is the ultimate flex of all perfumes. Whether you are sick and tired of this fragrance or you're gonna ride with it till the wheels fall off, you know this is the ultimate flex deep down in your soul. This is MFK's Baccarat 540. How many times has this fragrance been duplicated? How many ads of imitations have you seen for MFK 540? How many people are talking about this? I hear in Atlanta, wherever you go, someone smells like MFK 540. That's because this is the ultimate flex, y'all. With the saffron, the ambergris, the ambroxan, the woodiness, the spiciness of this fragrance, this is a whole vibe. She's light, she's airy. She commands attention. This fragrance knows is a boss. I was getting compliments on this during the pandemic when people had on their mask. Why? Because this is a whole flex. When I was trying to think of a movie to go with this fragrance, the only thing that came in my mind was Michael Jackson bad. And if you think about how long his videos are, it is a whole movie. Can you imagine if Baccarat was in the room with all the imitations and it comes in and it's like, Ch -ch -ch, do, 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 you know, doing a hair like Michael Jackson, your butt is mine, gonna tell you right. It's telling all the other imitations, just show your face in broad daylight. It's telling them like, I'm bad. I'm the ultimate flex. Can't nobody do it like me. Nobody, ain't no, can't nobody do it like this. This fragrance right here. This is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate flex. And I love this fragrance. I'm one of those people that are going to ride with it until the wheels fall off. MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the original. Okay, you guys, those were my Ultimate Flex favorites. I had so much fun doing this tag, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little spin on this. And tell me what you think about these fragrances down below. What do you think of my little shenanigans here on my channel? Which is something I always do, so you guys shouldn't be, you guys should be used to this. Now remember, you guys, until we meet again, remember how blessed and highly favored you are. Stay safe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.